Welcome to the Tufsuit Insights at World Hydrogen Week. And today with us, we have Dr. Monica Buzil, uh, the head of business development Europe in Tisselkorp Ude. So uh, welcome, Monica. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. My pleasure. So Monica, um, can you please give us a little introduction about yourself uh, and your personal um, journey to hydrogen? Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, um, yeah, I started actually um, at Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, which is located in Freiburg in Germany. Uh, and this journey started with uh, master thesis and PhD thesis. Um, everything was in the area of uh, green hydrogen. Um, and then I was leading a research group as well um, at uh, this research in institute with a focus on the um, green hydrogen um, technologies. So um, we were developing uh, different catalytic systems um, for the hydrogen downstream processes. Um, and now uh, in October, I switched from R&D to the industry sector. Uh, so I'm responsible here for the business development um, in Europe. Um, and of course, with the same, uh, same green hydrogen technologies, uh, which is actually as well my personal passion. Well, wow, that's a very fascinating journey. So from uh, R&D, from research to, uh, to innovation leadership and then to business development. Yeah. Um, so can you please explain a bit um, what ThyssenKrupp Ude does then in the, in the domain of green hydrogen? So um, ThyssenKrupp Ude has a really, really bright portfolio of different products. Um, at the moment, really focus is on the sustainable renewable technologies. Um, I'm talking here about um, the green molecules, the green chemicals. Um, everyone nowadays is talking about the green uh, ammonia, the green methanol. And here is as well the focus of this group, Ude. So Ude is um, providing the plants to synthesize ammonia. As well, we are developing plants to, uh, to crack ammonia. So when we are considering ammonia as a hydrogen carrier, then we need to first synthesize ammonia, but then we need to crack ammonia in order to release the hydrogen. And all of this is Thyssen Group Ude providing um, and doing. And besides ammonia, of course, we have as well methanol. We have um, synthetic aviation uh, fuels, synthetic fuels, and um, many other products such as, for example, as well, uh, fertilizer technologies. Okay, so everything which is uh, downstream, which comes after the green exactly. hydrogen production. Exactly. And our colleagues uh, from Thyssen Group Nasira, uh, they are providing us with this green hydrogen. So they are working on the alkali electrolysis. Um, yeah, so we have actually the whole value chain um, of the green hydrogen technologies. Okay. So talking about ammonia, so um, this is a very good point. Uh, we um, right now there is a huge, uh, there's huge ambition on uh, um, on scaling up uh, yeah. hydrogen uh, as a new global commodity. But one of the concerns uh, for the scale up is actually the transportation of hydrogen, uh, which mm, exactly. which is very challenging, and there are very high risks associated. What is yeah. what is your view on this, and what are the sustainable um, mm -hmm. uh, means of transportation for, for hydrogen. Yeah, definitely there are, there are many different options which we can consider for the hydrogen transportation. Definitely um, the client, the customer will at the end decide for which, for which option. Uh, and there are many fa factors which we need to consider from the hydrogen purity, which we want to have at the end from where we're going to import or export hydrogen. So what is the transportation distance? And of course, we have, for example, for the short transportation distance would be perhaps economically most viable the pipelines. Um, but when we are talking about the overseas, um, at the moment is really ammonia focus. And um, I'm talking here really about the green ammonia. So mm. to synthesize green ammonia, we need to have renewable energies and that means renewable uh, or green hydrogen for this. And this is actually um, the focus where we need to go in order to succeed this energy transition, to use renewable energy resources and to move from the fossil resources. So all this 
um, energy carriers or hydrogen carriers needs to be actually synthesized from the renewable energies. So I think this is the focus which we need to have it. Yes, and, uh, and I totally uh, agree. And this is actually how the, the way we can uh, bring forward no? yeah. the, the, the hydrogen economy to make the transportation uh, possible. No? Exactly. exactly. So um, then uh, associated to, to this question, um, uh, can you please uh, explain, can you please, sh um, I, will, I will restart, sorry. Um, so my next question is about uh, the, um, how you see the, in the future, uh, I would say the world map of uh, uh, production countries, ammonia and green hydrogen production countries and uh, off-taker countries. So for example, I can speak uh, for Germany. Uh, Tussen Group is very active there and there is the, 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 base, the basis and maybe for the Europe, um, which is the fact that Europe cannot provide so much energy that it, it needs. Um, we have, especially in Germany, a lot of a very strong um, chemical industry of course for the mobility sector, for the steel production um, and so this would be in the future all off takers mm -hmm. and since we cannot produce enough energy, so I'm talking about the renewable energy here, mm -hmm. um, in Europe we need to import it um, and of course now is the question from which countries, from which continents, um, we all know that for example um, the MENA region which is not so far from the Europe um, has a great potential mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of countries are very active already there. Um, on the other side we have the, the South America, the Latin America with perfect conditions from Brazil, Chile, uh, perfect wind conditions and solar conditions and maybe for us a little bit far away but Australia, mm -hmm. um, I would need to highlight it as well. Australia has as well perfect conditions to produce um, enough renewable energy um, to convert the green electrons to green hydrogen molecule and then um, to import it to Europe, for example. Yeah. So you can see um, the global warming is, a glo is a, actually the global problem. It's not only the problem of the Europe and we need to solve it. The, there is very important at the moment really the international collaborations to work all together. So the producers, the off-takers, um, the policy and uh, government, it's very, very important for the collaboration at the moment. Yes. Because this problem we won't solve alone. We need to really put our heads together and work together. Yes, and 100% yeah. uh, uh, agree and uh, uh, global companies like Thyssen Group Ude then will be needed to, yeah. uh, to actually facilitate this process. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So we have a lot of uh, clients globally, um, not only in our departments of business development, uh, we are distributed all over the world and I think this is really um, the key point now to work together. Yeah. Great, then thank you very much Monica. You're welcome. And looking forward to see many of these projects uh, live then. The Thank same. <laughs> Thanks.